Number 16. Why is the electron in a Bohr hydrogen atom bound less tightly when it has a quantum number of three than when it has a quantum number of one? This is a theoretical question, so no calculations really. It's just trying to understand what a, you know, atom looks like. So remember back in chapter one where we had the nucleus of an atom, right? So let's just say that this was the nucleus. It's where all the mass is jam-packed in, right? But there's only two things that are in the nucleus. So I'm just going to put an N here, right, for nucleus. What's inside the nucleus of an atom? Protons, right, which are positive. So we got protons. And what else? Neutrons, right, which are neutral. So I'll just put like a zero here with a slash. So in the nucleus of an atom, you have protons and neutrons. But where do the electrons reside? They reside outside of the nucleus. And that means that it's, um, they call it in the electron cloud. Kind of like the iCloud, right? <laughs> but anyway, so they live in an electron cloud outside of the nucleus. So what does the electron cloud look like? Well, it's just basically circles outside of the nucleus. So here, if I drew a circle outside of the nucleus, here would be one circle. Then electrons can live in the next lane. And then they can live in the next lane. So I'll just do three just so that you guys get the picture here. But do see that. I'm just going to take this and move it a little bit more into the center. Okay, so these three black circles represent the three different electron clouds. And these are numbered by their quantum numbers. So N is called the principal, I think it's AL, quantum number. And N will always start at number one and expand technically until infinity, right? Very, it, in theory, it could have very, 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 very high numbers. But right now in our periodic table, there is a cap. So the one closest to the nucleus, which is this circle right here, this would be n equals 1. It's the first shell, right, off of the nucleus, where the first electron cloud is, so it would be n equals 1. And then all the other ones just add a number. So the second one would be n equals 2. And then the third one would be n equals 3. And as you get farther and farther and farther away from the nucleus, those circles will get huge, right? They'll get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So let's just put this into context. Let's just say that we have an electron here in n equals 3 because they're asking for a quantum number of 3 versus a quantum number of 1. So that means that the other electron that we're trying to compare is right in the first circle. So they're asking... Or they're, they're saying, why is the electron in the Bohr hydrogen model bound less tightly than when it's three versus one? Well, what do you think it is? When you have an electron in N equals one, you're super close to the nucleus. So N equals one electron, I'll just put E negative, is super close to nucleus. So there's more of a, an attraction. Remember, the electrons are negative, and the nucleus is positive because it's protons and neutrons. So more attraction, which means that it would be tightly packed. It would be harder to strip away that electron, this electron, because positives and negatives attract. So it would be more tightly bound. As opposed to N equals 3, the electron is more farther away. And I think you could use farther or further. I'll just put further, further away. Right? Electron is more further away. I, I'm just going to switch this farther away. <laughs> Does it really matter? This is in English. <laughs> so electron is more farther away, right? This electron here is more farther away. So will it have a greater attraction than the one that's really, really close? No. So this has less attraction, which means that it's loosely bound. So when, you know, atoms have to lose electrons, they will always lose their electrons from the most outer shell, 
the, the higher the quantum number, the easier those electrons will get released. You'll never really get any of these electrons released because they're so tightly packed with the nucleus. They have that tight bond that they don't want to go anywhere. But the ones that are out here, they're like, eh, I don't really have any connection to the nucleus, so I'm just going to go. <laughs> so they will leave. And that's a huge concept when we talk about bonding and uh, covalent bonding, ionic bonding, all that type of stuff. So to answer this question, why is the electron in, Bohr, in the Bohr hydrogen atom bound less tightly when the quantum number is three than one? Because in three, the electron is more farther away, which means less attraction. That's it. So hopefully this helped. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If this helped you out, click the like button. And if you want tons more questions coming right into your YouTube feed, you can click the subscribe button. And that would help us out a lot too. We put so much time and effort into these videos to help you guys understand chemistry. And my brother's doing physics right now. I think we have about 70 subscribers. And that's awesome, by the way. I would never have imagined that 70 people would want to see this. But hey, I mean... It is, it is school. So we just try to make it, you know, fun and easy for you guys. So thank you. And I will see you guys all in number 17. See you then.